So there's 2,400 yards of pneumatic pipe, right? It ended 560 yards short of the Dalkey Station, right? So that led to a couple problems, right? Only like, a third of a mile. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes the train would undershoot the platform. <laughs> <laughs> just runs to a stop on air is the funniest Get thing out. I can imagine. <laughs> We're just like... <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. wonderful. Just, just start, just start blowing on a sail. <laughs> but no, what they, what actually happened is that then the passengers had to get off and push. <laughs> there, there was one incident where the pneumatic locomotive was accidentally uncoupled from the train. Oh, good. And <laughs> it shot off at high speed. You know that the the claim is that it made the full journey in about seventy five seconds, just over two miles in seventy five <laughs> hey, seconds. That's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, that that would probably make it the first uh, railway vehicle to exceed 100 miles per hour. <laughs> Just this f***ing <laughs> raft with a terrified man <laughs> <laughs> trying to f***ing make some toast or something, and he's the first person to be going over land at 100 miles an hour. Like I say, you, you don't get this kind of innovation anymore, you know? As I said, this is a Looney Tunes system. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I feel like this is this is one of the, like, harmless fun ones we do. Unless your next slide is, and it killed 500 people somehow. This one feels much like, more like a palate cleanser. It didn't kill anyone. <laughs> Apart from putting the fear of God into one person, <laughs> yes. Um, the ambient heat from uh, just the high temperatures melted the tallow mixture without, you know, the heating element, right? Oh, uh, it's gonna smell so good. But there was the problem of rats. Um, <laughs> flash image of Pete Buttigieg here. The rats got in the pipes, they wanted to eat the tallow, and then, you know, there's a bunch of rats in the mm -hmm. pipe, and then they turned the vacuum pumps mm -hmm. on. And they oh. all got sucked out, or they all got like <laughs> annihilated and turned into viscera when the train oh, went by. Right, no. and just otherwise gruesomely murdered. Oh no! You, I, the guy who has to like stand at the end of the vacuum clean out the rat smoothie. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the guy who cleans out the rat viscera. <laughs> that, that's that's the only guy who should have his own special union. Is the guy who has to like bolt the cover off and have a stream of rats and rat parts <laughs> just jet outwards <laughs> like a f***ing fountain. The idea of you, you get on this nice quiet train with no noise to mask any of this, and you set off with, in your stovepipe hat with your best girl on your arm, and it sets off from the station with the noise of a hundred rats just being crunched. <laughs> How do you keep a vacuum in a pipe that is mostly rat blood by this point? <laughs> Shake hands for danger. <laughs> Your next question, Paddington. I have not just slipped a train into this question. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tom Scott has train to rest. You can help. Please donate 50 quid to me repeatedly, <laughs> and I will hit him until he forgets. <laughs>